Hey, what's up, guys? It's LLI Network. LLI here with a new video. Today, I have a showcase of custom figures that I'm pretty sure you haven't seen. So, you already know it. Let's get started. Okay, guys, so finally I just rearranged the new arena so so stay tuned cuz I'm gonna show you the new arena it's basically the same shit as before but this arena is a little bit smaller but I like it though I, 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 I'm a big fan of it I think it I think it looks like an arena not the biggest arena ever but I really like it. Uh, I think it has a pretty good amount of crowd. It has the crowd has depth into it. That makes it look even better. It has all the little details in arena needs. So yeah, but today we're here to talk about another thing. We're here to talk about this beauty of customs that you have in front of you. All of these I've made, I'm pretty sure they have maybe three or four years old because um, yeah they're pretty old that's why most probably you haven't seen them so let's so let's start with the video let's start let me show you all these customs so I'm gonna start uh, by the middle I'm gonna go with this psychosis or Nitro Millonario or however you you know him he is a Mexican wrestler from Tijuana Mexico um, that's the border with San Diego, California, where Rey Mysterio is. When he was part of the Mexicools, here you can see, I don't know why it doesn't focus. Right there, Mexicool. I did a repaint on the skin tone because it was all the ye all yellow. I know it's kind of yellow still, but the plastic was all burned by the sun and all. And yeah, it was yellow by the sun. So I did a, a repaint on the skin tone on the t-shirt, which yes, was pretty bad as well. Um, I tried to leave the the tattoos. They look normal. <laughs> I repainted the hair. I also did the eyebrows. You can barely see the eyes, but um, yeah, there he has the eyes, the mouth, all the logos. It's basically a repaint, but yeah. Here is Nature Millonario or Psychosis. Uh, then we have, this is one of my favorite customs, but I'm not a fan of the hair, but I, I'm pretty, I like this custom. Uh, Finn Balor, Demon, right there. King Demon, King Demon, King Demon, all written down. It's a fantasy uh, demon attire. This is, I made this when, when all everyone was doing their their demon Finn Balor's. So yeah, here is the demon. You can see the tongue all the way to the stomach. This on the abdominal area, um, the the sleeve King Demon Demon. This eye pattern on the back looks really good. Demon King Club this logo which i'm not sure what that is this full sleeve the knuckles everything is painted the kick pads um yeah everything is done this is a custom head skin this used to be a berserker head skin that i repainted because it had the tongue out it doesn't look anything like finn balor and made I sculpted the hair so yeah it looks and it it looks nothing like Finn Balor but the Demon King looks really really good talking about Finn Balor let me move these things like this talking about Finn Balor we have this is one of my favorite customs even though it's pretty easy and pretty plain but I, I really love it. 
This is where Finn Balor came to Mexico. Can remember if it was 2019, 2020, 2017, or 2021. But one of those years, Finn Balor came here to Mexico and he rocked this red, red, white, and green attire, or green, red, green, white, and red attire for the Mexico colors. So he used a green sleeve that was pretty nice, Balor Club, um, Finn Balor head skin, this triangle on uh, on the back, green attire, everything is hand painted, green, uh, white knee pads that I also painted, and this red keg pads that I also painted. This is a pretty good figure. Sadly, it's a basic, but it's one of my favorite figures. He did a Coup de Gras to win on Mexico City. So yeah, Mexican Finn Balor. It's really, really good. One of my favorite customs that I've ever done. And that it was on the crowd, cause yeah, it's a basic and I, I have a, a Balor Elite. So that's why I had it on the base, on the crowd. But, uh, but I, I took it off the crowd. Also, one that wasn't the crowd, but I'm I'm starting to love this figure, this wrestler, and this custom is this Kurt Angle uh, fantasy attire, I think, or I can remember if he rocked it. If he did, it was a longest time ago. Maybe I wasn't even born when he did it. It's using the the SummerSlam basic that was pretty cheap. I bought it off um, of Walmart one day. I think it was like six bucks or five bucks. And yeah, I, I did a repaint on it because red is my favorite color, as you can see. So I had to do a red attire. I think this is the ultimate, not the entrance grades, Kurt Angle attire, but instead of being blue, I made it red. So it has the United States uh, flag right here on the, it continues all the way to the back, right there, USA, USA, his tattoo, his um, gloved hand, red, the knee pads are red with a star, and the laces are red on the angle boots. I really like it. It's completely possible. Like you can play with it. You can animate. You can do whatever you want with this Kurt Angle. Uh, it's not gonna cheap off. It has like five years as well, and it hasn't cheaped off anything. So I think I did a, an animation with it. I really love this head skin. I wanna buy a Kurt Angle Elite, but I haven't found one cheap. So that's why I haven't done it. But here is the Kurt Angle custom. Now, the other custom. I really love is this Yowie Wowie, this uh, Bray Wyatt the Fiend hurting heel figure. This is using an Undertaker Jack Pacific. I can't remember which head skin is this. It may be, I, I can't remember. It may, no, it, it wasn't the Undertaker. I can't remember which head skin was this. Um, but it looks just like the fiend. It has all the details. Look at that, at that teeth. Look, my God, the eyes, the yellow and red eyes. Right there, all the details on the mask. Everything looks awesome for being done on a uh, Jack Pacific. Also, this skin tone, I painted it. Everything looks really good. Everything is sculpted on, as you can see. This mask, I sculpted on. Also, the hair, which some of it has broken, but it still looks really good. Everything is hand painted, except this tank top. This came with the Undertaker. The red pants, I painted them with the stripes down. Also, the, the gloves the heel and hurt hurt and heel everything i really love this custom like yeah it's one of my favorite customs in my collection even though i i don't use it it doesn't have the best articulation as you can see but 
for being a custom just like this it looks beautiful and the last one because it ain't a custom it's just a custom shirt i found on my crowd and i wanted to put it back on the figure it's this cody this cody shirt look at this fix up it looks beautiful this this shirt on this cody figure now that i repainted this cody it looks really really good it looks just like the one on the on the shirt look at that it looks 10 times better than it used to so yeah that's it for this video tell me which one was your favorite custom if you want to add another one i have this seth rollins that you already saw the seth rollins logo and this head skin which is a custom head skin i have a video on my channel where i did this head skin i'm gonna review the basic that's the the next video you'll see or maybe you'll see that video before this one but hope you like hope you guys like this video tell me which one was your favorite custom of the badge was it the the mexican finn balor or the i think i'm the only person that i that i've done that mexican finn balor uh or the demon finn balor which is really good as well or the psychosis or which one or the kurt angle this the i have two patriotic customs the USA one and the Mexican one or the Yowie Wowie or the Cody Rhodes custom shirt. So tell me which one is your favorite. And yeah, share with all your friends so they can get to see this awesome content. Bye and have a five star day. See ya.